Greetings, this is Ken from Mahalo.com, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a smart playlist in iTunes. One of my favorite options in iTunes is Smart Playlist. Now this is really good for music aficionados. And why? Because it gives you more control of the music that you wanna hear. So, Smart Playlist, if we look at the standard ones, let's go ahead and take a look. They have 90s music, classical music, my videos, top rated, recently added, recently played, top 100. Now, you can easily edit just by right clicking and edit Smart Playlist. And from there, we have plenty of different options. Right now, this is 90s, so it's going to search for all the music in iTunes ranging from 1990 to 1999. So let's say, well, you know what? I'm more of an 80s fan. I like, you know, old school Madonna, and, you know, some of that old school Michael Jackson and Prince. So we go ahead from 1980, so 1989, and hit OK. It's still called 90, so what we're going to do is click once, this nice little light click, and then we can go ahead and erase that 9, make that into a 0. Now, I don't have that much 80s music because this is my work computer, so I imported a few songs in here. So, as you can see, I have Buffalo Soldier by Bob Marley in the year 1984. If you had a plethora of 80s music, it would show up right there on that list. So, and classical music, I don't have any classical music on this computer, which is kind of a sad thing because it's nice to listen to some classical music and relax. So, let's say if we wanted to create one. Well, that's real easy to do. We can hit Command Option N and we just remember N for New Playlist. That's kind of a way I remember it. And from there, I can just choose whatever I want. So, we come here to Artist, there's Bitrate. Um, if you're really into music, you would probably use that or Beats Per Minute. Let's say fast music inspires you to work faster well let's go ahead and put that beats per minute we can do by artist so let's go ahead and do artist it does not contain so let's say you know for all you people who don't like Justin Bieber and it's like put Justin Bieber and put does not contain Justin Bieber and it will make it so none of your songs in that playlist have Justin Bieber but if you don't like them I don't understand why you would have them in your iTunes but that was just an example. So let's go back. So let's go to contains and we'll do Michael Jackson. There it is, Michael. And we can limit that up to, I, th I think I have some Michael Jackson songs on this computer. And uh, there should be some more. So there's only one showing up. Uh, make sure you check out my next tutorial where if let's say sometimes smart playlist won't work because maybe you have a song that is missing certain information just make sure to watch my next tutorial where I teach you how to add that missing information that's gonna help you big time if you're making playlists or if you want to organize your music because sometimes if you're importing from older CDs or you weren't online at the time iTunes won't recognize those tracks or they won't add that specific information let's go ahead and create a new one so if you don't want to use the command shortcut or sometimes you might forget it but I do have quizzes to teach you and help you remember those command shortcuts we're gonna go ahead and hit file and then we'll do new smart playlist and one of my favorite things to do is this top 100 it was actually top 25 but I like to edit and let me show you how I did that so I just right clicked edit smart playlist and I set the limit to 100 normally so if I set it to the original 25 now it's the top 25 songs that I play on my computer so now I have to change that so I will just do a nice little tap right here to change it and we'll change that number 100 to 25 and hit done so now we have the top 25 most played songs on my computer and that has been our quick tutorial on smart playlist in iTunes this has been Ken from Mahalo.com and I'd like to thank you for watching if you have any requests for anything iLife send them to request at Mahalo.com and I'll see you then